Hey everyone, welcome to our fruit system class um, where we're going to be showing you this uh, small plot here in situ of the jazz where we have a fruit system. Um, so this system has a, has a, a, a story, okay? It, it, now it's only a, a tree system with a, a, a bit of grass go, grown here that has been planted recently. But here uh, we have harvested vegetables four times, okay? It was planted four times. And after four cycles of vegetables, we also planted one cycle of beans. Am I right, Gennaro? Correct. That's right. So a lot has gone here. A lot ha has happened already. Before we have these beautiful trees already established, but everything was planted at the same time. And we used the annual crops to generate an initial income until the trees start bearing fruit. Because one problem of fruit production is that um, you make a large investment, but you only have a return after three, four, five or six years after planting. And using annual crops, you can have a return earlier. So um, how was that? Did, did, how yeah, was the return from the annual crops? Oh, th this was amazing in the beginning. You know, we had, we had cauliflower, we had uh, many different types of crops here. I mean, this is already paid for the whole system the first time we done the veg system. And then, you know, we were able to do veg another three times here. Uh, but you know, Felipe, for me, the legacy here really is the life that we've generated in the soil that we've created. This is one of the most prosperous area in the farm. You know, it's amazing how much worm is established here. This is really how impacted I am. For me, it's, it's, it's really blessed. Yeah. So, so this is really interesting because here, just, just by the simple measure of producing vegetables in between the, the rows of trees, which here are spaced maybe a bit less than in, in the other plots, four meters. probably four, fifty, five meters. Um, so by planting vegetables, we paid for the system, so we paid for the trees. So it turns out it, was, it wasn't an investment anymore. The investment is already paid when the fruits, the, the, the trees start bearing it's the beauty. Fruit. And that's very significant. Any investor knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so, so, so the, the investment is paid for in the first year. When it, would be, when it would start generating income in the sixth year, it's paid in the first year. That's very significant. So and besides that, we have the profit from all the life that was built. And that, that's great, yeah. that's amazing. So j just to, to complete the design of the system, we have the, the rows of trees spaced four meters apart. We have eucalyptus tree, which is the main organic matter producer here. Um, every 1.75 on the rows of trees. And we have the main crops of citrus and soursop, which is right here. Also known as guanabana. Also known as guanabana. Uh, it's important to know, and we're going to cover strata, more uh, stratification of, of trees in future chapters. But these plants, they consortiate well because they occupy different strata, okay, different layers. Because if they occupy the same layer, they wouldn't really fit together. But they occupy different layers, right? Soursop is, occupies the, the high layer, the canopy, and while the citrus trees occupy the medium layer. You know, I mean, it's incredible how the eucalyptus, you know, it's, it's grown and we've literally pruned it on the ground. We've, we've got all that wood, we've shredded it up, we've put it on the ground and, and it's grown again. It's, it's eight meters tall again, you know, and everything is chasing after the eucalyptus. You know, we had the papayas here. It was, it was a great success, you know, it really, it really came, it really returned the investment, the papayas. And now that the, the old papayas up in the ceiling and they're a bit far away, it's fine. It's the legacy is there for the birds because now the birds are eating it and they're replanting it. And actually what we're finding is the best papayas are the ones that the birds are planting. So, you know, it's very important for us to feed the animals as well, keep them here, keep them at home. So, you know, it's not great for the market anymore. It's a little bit old now, but you know, the birds are loving it and we take it to the chickens and everything. You know, we, we, we've had great results with these eucalyptus. You know, we're constantly pruning, we're constantly, not only the wood, but also all the leaf. 
you know all that green matter bringing that and keeping that humidity in the soil bringing the water from deep down bringing it to the air layering it on the ground covering the soil keeping the moist you know and here really uh, this is really a tree system this is really for the fruit so you know we're, we're happy to to go ahead and, and plant the grass and that's it it's done you know in, in the middle here it's done uh, we really we, we don't want to now keep on pruning a valuable fruit you know it's come to the point this is a 28 month system here so now it's, it's you know it's amazing what's happening in 28 months we've got this coffee here it's absolutely fabulous it's not the main crop you know our main crop here was the citrus and the guanabana we have lots of wood uh, long-term wood you know wood that we're gonna harvest in 20 years from now some real quality wood coming through underneath you know uh, the coffee is not the main crop but you know it's it comes every so often you know it's, it's sitting patiently underneath the citrus and it's just it's just amazing the results man uh, you know I, I love this area great I, I really like to show you the, the soil here you know underneath this matter you know the kind of the kind of structure we're creating and considering that this was really acid really sandy poor soil yeah that's great um, it's really a beautiful system and you can see here that we, we have basically four layers of trees. We've got the eucalyptus, which is the emergent layer. Then we, we have the guanabana, which is going to be the, the high layer. We've got citrus in the medium layer. And we've got coffee as a low layer uh, or, or an understory plant. So we don't have to lose trees in the hectare or lose trees per area because we're making a, a companion planting. That, that doesn't work like that because they occupy different places so we can have we can have the same productivity or even more citrus productivity if we have the guanabana together it doesn't mean that if I put one I'm losing the other okay we're gonna produce more you know what it's, it's for sure more you know I've got I've got guanabana planted in other areas uh, it's four years down the line and it's half the size of this that's two years old you know we've got mogno here we mahogany we've got mahogany here it's two years old it's seven meters tall I've got mahogany planted over there by, by the front gates. You know, it's just there on its own and it's been four or five years and, and the little fella, you know, is two meters high. So there's no shadow of a doubt. Uh, we harvest a lot more with, with all this companion planting. Yeah, and um, the great thing is that uh, by doing these, uh, um, this system, this agroforestry system, um, we're producing fruit, but we have a byproduct which is wood. And this is really great because it's, uh, we're adding to the system. Uh, we're, wood is almost like an investment, right? For a future payout after 12 to 15 years. So we're gonna harvest fruit for a long time and we're gonna be pruning this wood and producing organic matter. We've got and then we've got wood. We've got one of the, 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 the greatest materials that we have. And w here we've got two woods, we're going to have two cycles, right? We've got eucalyptus for first harvest, and then we've got um, Calophyllum brasiliensis, which is a, a native species called Guananji, for cuts from 25 years onward. So it's a, it's a successional Real noble, um, real system. noble wood. Real yeah. noble. So, I mean, it's all about the, the, the self-sustainability as well. You know, if we need wood, we need it for the fence, we need it. So we've got all the, the, the quick growing wood. We, you know, the eucalyptus in one, two, three years, we've got big, thick, you know, we're using it in my house. It's got all the walls divided, the rooms, you know, the eucalyptus we're making it use at home because we need wood. We use wood at home, you know, so let's take it from, you know, let's grow it. And, uh, and then we've got the future wood, you know, people don't want to know about waiting around. That's the beauty. We don't want to wait around 25 years to harvest this. So it's just multiple, you know, when we get there, it really was just a bonus for my daughter. Uh, but I didn't have to sit here and wait, you know, we harvested. Uh, from 30 days we were harvesting rocket and then you know cassavas and then we had bananas and and uh, papaya with one year and with two and a half years we've got the citrus we've got the coffee with three years uh, the guanabana is coming next year you know with three years as well so we're not sitting around we you know in the next row just just beside us we've got uh, palm trees we've got uh, a lot of the avocados going on here as well mangoes and everything else man Great. It's really exciting. All right, so uh, I think that's pretty much it for the first fruit system. And do um, you want to add anything else? No, that's it. Uh, let's talk about it in the webinar. All right, that's great.
So Brilliant. thanks for watching and until the next one.